feeling hopeless till you came around, came around All this time, you're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs What is love? Okay, so we're at the gym, um, left work, and I'm going to be taking you guys through my full body routine. It's going to be intense. I'm looking forward to it just to kick off before my fast. You guys can watch that video whenever I post it, but not too much talking. Let's get into this workout and be prepared to sweat. Okay, so let's get into this workout. First on the list, you guys see me doing these lunges here. This is really good for the quads, the glutes. I train my lower half about four to five times a week. I usually do a full body day every day. I might change and start split workouts, um, but right now it works for me. Then I usually just crank up the speed and I try to go anywhere from 5.4 to 6 miles per hour when I'm running. I often do take breaks, but I can get through like a 2 minute, 2 minute 30 song. Uh, minute song on a good day so this is me just running as fast as I can and trying to breathe through that in intervals okay so I just finished my little warm-up I have been having to run and stuff I'm used I used to do cardio um before I did anything but I heard you're supposed to go straight into weights and then do your cardio to like break whatever training you did. But for me, it doesn't work because I'm tired when I get to the gym all the time. Every day I'm tired. I need the energy. So usually like running and listening to my music while I drink my pre workout, while that's kicking in, it just gives me energy to start. So that's what I did. I'm about to do some jump rope and some circuits. Um, I'll show you guys what I do. Uh, I'm probably going to do that for like 45 minutes. I'm going to try to up my cardio to burn as much that even though i hear people say just lift weights and stuff which i'm gonna do for another hour after this so we're just gonna do a full full body i like to take my time i'm usually in the gym for like two hours and i just burn myself out until i have no more to give so that's what my plan is <laughs> Okay, so now that my cardio is fully done, I'm going to go straight into strength training and lifting weights. And if you guys want to see my 30-day cardio weight loss routine that I'm following the plan, you guys can go over to my TikTok, which I'll link down below, so you can follow that 30-day challenge. It's going really well, and the results are in, and I would love for you guys to join me. But here you guys see me doing these push-ups with the bar. They were really good. I'm trying to tone my back because that gives you a more flattering hourglass figure. So I train my my back and my waist pretty much every day for that slimmer and more muscular effect next you guys can see me up here doing um, some core and strengthening I'm just going to be doing these kick-ups and this is really good for the core the fupa if you're trying to lose the stomach and shut off the back and get a more flatter overall figure these are good for the workouts so i am mixing in my like regular strength training and lifting weights into one workout and you can see me go back and forth to this i'll usually add jump rope in between each set of working out as well like every time i lift the weight i'll usually do a set of working a uh, jump rope Okay, next we're still into back and I'm going to do these seated rows. I believe I was pulling like 40 to 50 pounds each row. These are really good for the back fat. I already told you guys we're getting a slim waist effect. So yeah, watch me do these. I don't count reps and sets. Um, sometimes I do put them on my video, which is aimed. I tend to do more than, you know, 12 or 15. I usually hit that 15 to 20 mark. I do know that, but I do count my reps. I usually go for three to four every day depending on how much I'm lifting how much energy I have but I don't sit there and count I'm usually jamming out to music so this is more practical uh, workout of mine Okay, now let's get into the Supermans. I pretty much love these. If you have like the upper boob back fat, this is really good for those. I have like mini boobs on the back of my back. So I like anything that is just 
you know adding extra force and that I know I'm kind of spot training even though it's hard to do but you can spot train in certain areas and like I said my back is one of those problem areas I've been spot training so I'm pushing about well pulling about 15 pounds and I'm doing this um, like 20 times on each side and I do a four rounds of each so I'm doing them on each side four times these are really good for me I'm working on getting my form more spot on to get better results but I'm trying new things and it's helping with the bat arms and just tightening all the fat on my arms my back and giving me that more curved shape in the waist as well Okay, next we're getting into these lat pull downs. You guys can see I'm doing a lot of upper body, but trust me, we're gonna get into the lower body in just a minute. Um, I'm not quite sure what weight these are on, maybe like a 40, definitely not a 50. Those were a lot for me. Um, a 30, 40 is pretty good right now. The more you can do, the better at this point. It's not about always jacking up the weights like you see some of the gym girls do, and the guys, really the guys. But I like these, once again, back control figure eight of body and yeah okay so as promised we're getting into legs I love these right here I'm just doing these push-ups with my knees I don't know what they're actually called but I do have two 25 pound weights one on each side so they're 50 pounds if you're watching this now though I'm at a 45 pound pound plate on each side including whatever I'm pushing up weight so that it is a lot but my legs are more strong I believe like the strongest area on my body um, so it's fun to do these and you can see me alternating between one leg now this hurts right here but I seen a few gym girls do it and it's supposed to you know help spot the butt the legs and just give you more power and control on that Okay, next are these hip thrusts. I'm really working on these, especially with the added weight, but I'm working on my form. So I'm just using a regular 25 pound plate. And you can see me just holding this and pushing it up as I thrust. And you're just working on the booty movement. Like I said, we're growing the glutes as best as we can. This one did take, give me a run for my money, but it was... Definitely worked it in the end. The results are in. I could feel it in my glutes, in the back of my legs. So yeah, I did these hip thrusts and <laughs> I took my time with it because I was done. Throwing tomatoes, that's what I was saying. Throwing tomatoes. <laughs> And moving on, so my favorite part of every workout, literally every day, is bar work. I usually like to do the bar with no added weights just to get comfortable. I'm building up my velocity, my speed with it, how much I can control it. So I really like the bar and you can see me doing these RDLs. This really helps break a sweat for me and it gets me pretty much going for my workout. But I did end up doing these at the end this time. So I do a few RDLs and yeah I love the bar movement like I said and then when I do deadlifts or whatnot I will add a weight I am up to like 50 pounds adding weight or 45 pound on each slack and I've been doing snaps with them so pretty much just lifting them off the floor and then snapping them up into like a champion or a warrior style pose I'm not sure what you guys call them but those give me a really good burn as well Okay, to end the workout up, I didn't even think I recorded this, but I did. Here is um, the cardio that I did in that section of the video, if you didn't watch the beginning. I'm doing some jump rope right here. This is ultimately my favorite form of cardio. It's really good for tummy control and just getting your heart 
beat like going your heart rate up so I love jump rope and then I'm doing these up and downs um, this was really good too I used to do these on a workout plan and I've seen them on a few but this gave me <laughs> a run for my money you guys can see I'm out of breath taking my time but just that movement it was a lot for my legs and for my respiratory system um, but I did take my time and do this but yeah that is all that I have for this workout. If you guys haven't already, give the video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button to be subscribed to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every time I post. I really enjoy doing this video, showing you guys my workout. If you guys have any tips for me or any questions, leave them down in the description box below and I will show you or respond to you guys. So, I love you. Bye. I'm tired of my earpods is dying. I gotta pee for the fourth time. This is the reality. So, yeah, let me do this. The audio, but quick body comp because I feel like I never show y'all. And I'm like, if I'm gonna do a workout, y'all need to see. So maybe I'll try to put a side by side if I have any. But this is my bag. We're working on these rows right here. I'm trying to get rid of that. And we're working on pumping the booty. They tell me. She's looking cute, she's looking cute. I try to show you as much as I can because transparency is the key. So you know what works. So that's the tummy, that's the back, the arms. I'm so proud of my arm progress, y'all, because it looked better on camera. But like, I really feel like I used to have grandma arms and now they're like strong, so. That's the boy T here. In the legs. In the legs. Mm -hmm.